Headless Chrome allows you to run Chrome in an automated environment without a user interface or peripherals. Notifications on Mac will be shown directly by the native Mac OS notification system. You can now capture full resolution photos with the Image Capture API, and there's plenty more. I'm Pete LePage. Let's dive in and see what's new for developers in Chrome 59. A headless browser is a great tool for running automated tests and server environments where you don't need to see the rendered output or have a visible UI shell. For example, using Selenium for unit tests against your progressive web app, to create a PDF of a Wikipedia page, or inspecting a page with DevTools. Starting in Chrome 59, you can now run headless Chrome. It brings all the modern web platform features provided by Chrome to the command line. Check out Eric Beidelman's post on updates linked below for full details. He's got an example on how you can use it to convert pages to PDF, dump the DOM, and how to use it programmatically in Node. Chrome has historically included its own notification system for web and extension developers to show notifications to the user. But we've heard from users and developers alike that they want Chrome to use the native OS notification system. Starting in Chrome 59 on Mac OS, Chrome will use the native notification system, improving the user experience and ensuring that the notifications feel more integrated in the platform. My personal favorite, notifications will now respect my do not disturb settings. Because of the way macOS handles notifications, there are a few low usage APIs that are now discouraged as they'll result in a degraded experience on macOS. Check out our updates post linked below for all the details. Capturing high res photos in a web app can be hard. Either the user has to upload a photo they've already taken or switch from the browser to their camera, take the photo, switch back to the browser and upload the photo. With the new Image Capture API in Chrome 59, you have full access to the full resolution of the capabilities of any available camera. The API provides control of features such as zoom, focus, contrast, ISO, and even white balance. Check Sam's post on updates for full details and sample code that you can use to get started right away. These are just a few of the changes in Chrome 59 for developers. Of course, there's plenty more. Check the description for more details, including links to docs and specs. Now, if you didn't make it to Google I.O. this year, I've put a few of my favorite videos on the side there, so check those out. Then click the subscribe button, and you'll get an email notification whenever we launch a new video. I'm Pete LePage, and as soon as Chrome 60 is released, I'll be right here to tell you what's new in Chrome.